Hey, what's up guys? DJ here with another Transformers Earth Wars video. Today we got something special for you. We got the four-star Deathsaurus on the beta account. And he just looks amazing. I've been grinding with him all day. And I got him up to level 31. Actually, level 32. So, I'm going to show you his stats. And uh, I'll do a couple battles with him. And... You guys can decide whether you're going to go for him in the leaderboard this weekend. I hope you do. I think he's probably going to be a really, really good Decepticon to have in your collection. So, yeah, so here he is. I mean, check him out. He's a dragon. He's got an awesome shield. So, he's got the... Basically, the way I see it, it's called the Blazing Storm. It's spreading electric fire in a large radius. Targets are disabled for 6 seconds and take 755 damage. I got him at level 7. So you can see his damage is 117. His health is 5970 at level 31. So here's his bio. I'm not going to read it all to you. But just explains a little bit about him. So basically the way I see it is. He's kind of like Dive Bomb and Scrapnel put together because he rushes in, he flies in, landing on whatever target you choose, and in his wake, he's bringing all the EMP behind him, and it's a pretty wide spread EMP. So, here we go with a couple battles. This is all level 7. So, I'm only going to use him and Onslaught because I want to showcase him. So, I'm going to try to do as much damage as I can just with Deathsaurus. So, look at that. I mean, he hits like what? Like eight buildings right there. And you could see it's doing massive amounts of damage. I mean, yes, it's only level 7, but he's only level 30. So... He's clearing this map, I mean this base. It's pretty pretty impressive. I can't imagine if you had a, you know, a level 50 death source with ability 8, it would be pretty pretty OP. So as you can see, I'm just using onslaught to clean up pretty much all the damage is coming from death source. He's got a sword attack. So he has to be up close and personal while he's hitting these targets, but he, he also has the, the HP too, so he's got a nice nice amount of health that can keep him keep him safe while he's hitting these targets. So there you go, that, that base is done. So here we go with another Zone 7 battle. Same thing, I'm only using him and Onslaught. And I'm going to rush straight across this base to that mortar on the right. Look at that. Almost cleaned out that whole base. So I'm going to use his ability one more time. It starts at 12 points, and then it goes to 15 points, and then I believe it's 18 points. So, it's an expensive ability to use, but, I mean, the amount of damage it does, it's worth every bit of those 12 points. So, even if you just use it once and you want to follow up with the rest of your cons, like Onslaught or Scourge even, um, any Gunner, I think it's, it's going to be a good combo to use with him. And plus he's a tank, so you can just throw him right in front and let him lead. While you're cleaning up with your gunners, it's gonna it's gonna be awesome. I think he's gonna be an awesome bot. So there you go. We're at the headquarters now, and and this base is down. And there it is. Now here's another base, and this one is really good because it's basically a time trap base. And these have been really annoying lately. Everybody's using them. 
Uh, but as you can see, he's got a huge radius, so I can actually reach that headquarters in the back. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, two uses on his ability gets me to the headquarters. I'm out of range of everything except for maybe that missile launcher, I'm not sure. It can still hit me, but like I said, he's got the health. So, he's going to be safe up there no matter what. That, health, that, that launcher ain't going to take him down. So he's just left alone to solo this base. And I'm just speeding through this. It's close, of course, it's close, but he got the job done again. So there it is. Time traps are not going to be as useful as they used to be. Crush them! So there it is guys, the 4 star Death Saurus. In that last battle I got him up to level 32. So I want to spin him around here one more time and show off his stats to you again. Since he got a little bit of a boost. There's his power is 817, his damage is 120.8 and his HP is 6150. His level 7 ability is 6 seconds and 778 damage. So... I hope you guys are all going to try to get into this leaderboard event this weekend. I think this con is going to be one of the best ones that are out there. Um, I know our alliance is going hard for him this weekend, and I hope all of you are too. So that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you hit that subscribe button. I appreciate all you guys that have subscribed lately, and thank you for all the feedback you've been giving me.